Hey everyone, Becky from Wake 99 are here. So we opened up that big swag box from our friends at the Toy Insider from Sweet Sweet. And I will put a link to that above so you guys can uh, check out everything we got in there. But part of what they sent us were more of these kind of blind bag toys and these surprise toys. And we have four of them here that I'm going to open up today and we're gonna see what is inside all of them. Now these are, the first one we're gonna start with is Littlest Pet Shop Lucky Pets. So I grew up playing with Littlest Pet Shop. I absolutely adore it. I still probably have some downstairs in the basement. I'm gonna have to check it out, but these ones come in a little fortune cookie. Um, I don't believe that this fortune cookie is edible, so don't try to eat it. But we're gonna open this up. There is a Littlest Pet Shop friend in here, and we're going to get it out. And that was really loud, I'm sorry about that. And we're going to see what friend we have inside. Now, this is kind of a foamy material, like I said. Don't try to eat this. I'm gonna try. I mean, if I was doing an ASMR, this might be the right toy to play with. There we go. So, okay, so there's probably an easier way to do it. It looks like the fortune cookie actually has hinges, but it doesn't wanna even open at those. So maybe that is what we're supposed to do. So inside, and this is for ages, it says not for zero to three. Um, so we do have itty bitty accessories and we have a little friend in here. I'm going to open this up in just a minute and we're gonna see, but I wanna see what these accessories are first. These bags are really easy to open once you get that fortune cookie open. We have a little paw rattle and then we have an itty bitty little S hook for something. So we're gonna check this out and see who we have and what we have inside here. Now, I can kind of see through the bag so it's not a complete blind bag, but it looks like we have this adorable kitty cat. So look how cute she is. So it is a little bit of a bobbly head and I'm gonna check out who we actually got because we do have 150 different ones to get. This is Colette. She is in the lucky category down here. And the back, um, it comes in both, like if you check the back, we actually have this, it looks like it is in English and French, maybe Italian and Spanish. I am not quite sure, but your charm color you get the number, and you actually do get a fortune in here. So your charm color, the f number, and the day of the week will actually give you a fortune as well. So our charm was yellow, so we will share. We have the number seven, good luck, and today is Monday after dinner. So I'm not even sure what that means, but maybe we'll have good luck after dinner. Maybe we'll get like... Maybe we'll find or win the lottery or something fantastic. So that is the Littlest Pet Shop Lucky Ones, the Lucky Pets. And there's over 150 different combinations you can get. So now we're going to go and we're going to open up these Sweet Pups. Now these I think are absolutely adorable. They are little plushes. And what they do, let's see if I can get this open without a knife today. There we go. It looks like a nice little croissant. But when you unvelcro it, and you actually can velcro the back back together, and we have a little puppy dog. So there are, they have a bunch of these in different pastries. Hi, Jackie. And you can get different dogs. They also have some ones that just came out that are similar to this. Hey, we got a little puppy for you. I keep threatening to get you a puppy. So they have some that came out similar, but they are ice cream cones and they turn into kitty cats. So I will say right now, there's a good chance Jack may take off with this. He has stolen a few stuffed animals over the years. Um, he tends to make them go fly through the house. So I'm gonna set this aside. Hopefully we don't have any carnage happening. Um, the next thing we're going to open up is the Pop Pop Hair Surprise. So I will say the back right here, I did show that on the last video. It's actually a brush. 
So let's see if we can do this. Again, sometimes this plastic is kind of hard for me to open. So these are things that you're gonna have to consider if you're getting these for kids. You're going to have to um, probably help them a little bit with some of this stuff. So I'm going to try and get the back off of this girl and not break it too much. So I am gonna leave the tag on there. All right, so here she is. And there is a little paper in the back here that I will get out. And we're going to open this up. And inside here, so we do still have the back as a brush and afterwards she can stand on her own and you, the girls or your little boy, whoever's playing with this can have this cute little figure on their table and it's also a brush for when you need it. So that's really cute. We do have a little tiny blind bag. Hi buddy, what are you doing? You gonna leave me? Okay, and let's see what these are. This one is not as easy to open. We have, oh, okay, we have two little tiny hair clips and a hair rubber band. So these are the little hair rubber bands. Um, I tend to lose those, so I will put that aside for now. And then we have something, and this is more of a blind bag type thing. It's actually in like a little fabric bag. So that is a nice little step that a lot of them, you know, normally you get the plastic ones. Um, I am not able to get this little thing off the side. So let me grab this. So this is the part where you would have to help the kids and hopefully just use scissors, not a uh, knife that's sitting in the drawer. And we have this. And I don't even know what we're getting into here. So it's this cute little kind of clamshell and all I see is a bunch of fun hair. And that should, this helps smooth the hair down. So how do I get that out? Okay, so I'm taking that little bow off the side here and what we're going to do is we are going to, oh, there we go. Apparently pull it apart and you have this cute little cat that has this insane hair. But what's really cute is there is a hair tie on here. So you could take this and you could actually put it in your hair and you can have some fun and colorful hair coming out as well as a little friend. So that is really cute. So Pop Pop Hair Surprise. Let's see. So you open and remove your Pop Pop from your Pop Brush. You twist and pull to remove the spray bottle. Okay. So this bottom part here is a spray bottle so you can easily spritz hair. And you spray the pot, oh, I did it wrong. You spray the pod and you wait for it to pop. And then you reveal the pop roller and twist to remove the bow. And then you unroll your little friend. So there are different ways. You can wear it in your hair as an accessory. You can decorate their hair. And let's see. So this is roll, rock and roll, I think. This is roll, and which is pretty and punk. And this one with the rainbow hair, this is, I'm sorry, this is doggy Bowie. I should have known that with the face art. Honestly, it should have been a Bowie reference. So that's that one. Now they do have the different rollers have different names too. So this is Wavy Wanda. So that's kind of fun. They're kind of cute. Um, so you get three little kind of accessories, four accessories if you count the brush and the sprayer. And then you can decorate Doggy Bowie's hair or wear Doggy Bowie in your hair. And I do, I dig the colors that Doggy Bowie has. Those are kind of fantastic. So if you like having little fun friends in your hair or doing your hair differently, or you're not allowed to wear fun colors at school or change your hair color, this is a kind of fun way to do it. So we have one more and we'll be right back. Okay, so the last thing we have today is a Tiny Tuckins. Tiny Tuckins has a mystery plush and what they are are little baby animals, cribs, and accessories. So there's six pieces in here in this little box. Um, so it inclu includes a crib, a mystery plush, removable diaper, blanket, and play accessories. So let's see what we get. 
So there's technically 12 you can get. You can get a, looks like a bear, a bunny, a cat, a dog, a fox, and a mouse. And they have them both boys and girls. So we have little accessories. And we have, all right, that's it. So we don't re even have a blind bag on this one. We just have a crib and a cute little baby bunny boy. And then we have the blanket and the accessories in here. So there's supposed to be six pieces in this. So let's see what all we have. Whoop, there is a little, okay. So we do have this blanket we're gonna put in the crib with the baby. We have an itty bitty little bottle. And then we get a little toy school bus. So that, from my count, is five accessories. What else am I missing? Oh, the removable diaper counts as an accessory. So you can actually take off the diaper and you can remove it and you can change the baby's diaper if he needs it. So this, I mean, he's really, really cute. The only thing I would like or prefer on this would be if these were kind of blind and, you know, the crib and everything else was wrapped up in something. So you couldn't see what was in there as soon as you opened the box. However, for little kids, because this is for Tiny Tuckins ages three and up, they may not want to open up the bags and stuff. They may just want to uh, just kind of play. And this is really cute. So this is Charlie Bunnikins. Um, he does have a sister, Charlotte Bunnikins, as well. So you can get them a playhouse, a preschool, play sets, all this fun stuff. They are really, I mean, he's cute and he's soft. So, I mean, all of these are really kind of fun for, obviously, kids. Most of them are ages three and up because of itty bitty tiny little pieces that kids could easily probably swallow. I mean, the school bus is adorable, but you don't want kids to eat it, obviously. Okay, so these are really, really great gift ideas. And like I said, I'm going to put the links for all of these below if you want to grab some now or even later. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we will be back soon with a whole bunch more toys coming your way. So we'll see you soon. Bye.